And this is a good place for me to give you a commercial for the next series of classes which will begin here, two Sundays after Easter. I'm going to be doing a series on prosperity, specializing in emphasizing how you can prosper regardless of world conditions. That's needed right now. Because so many people are surrendering to conditions. World conditions have nothing to do with my prosperity. See, I've gotten into the series already. But it comes into play here because there's only one thing. Shout that back at me and at yourself. And I, and I think this is timely. A young man called me today who was in school and he was getting some grants and he was working uh, as well at the same time. And he called uh, uh, to tell me that, you know, a lot of the grants, his grants have been cut off and today he got laid off from his job. Now, what am I supposed to tell him? Just what I told you and what I'm telling you right now. You have got to come to realize your independence of conditions. You've got to real, come to realize that you are not subject to conditions, but rather conditions are subject to you. You've got to turn the table on conditions. He that tills his land shall have plenty of bread. What's the land? The mind. Boy, those theologians, if they'll ever wake up, they ought to come here and learn, baby, learn. Land is the mind. And to till the land means to cultivate your mind power. You get those tapes on the 12 disciples. And you listen to them. Did you notice I just brought, bought me one of those cassette players? I'm going to, I've got a nine and a half hour flight on Monday. And what do you think I'm going to be doing? Listening to Reverend Ike. I'll get a chance probably in that time to listen to all of the 12 disciples cassettes. Discipling, disciplining every facet of the mind. Why? Because he that tills his land shall have plenty of bread. That's why when you really get to using your mind power, when you really get to using the infinite stuff that God has given you, you become a master. And a master, again, is one who is completely independent of world conditions. That's why the Master Jesus gave us the clue when he said, My kingdom is not of this world. I must be about my father's business. The Lord is my shepherd. The law of mind takes care of me. <laughs> and the blessed man meditates on the law of the Lord night and day. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Let me tell you this. You don't have to go by the world's seasons. When you learn how to think God's thoughts, you make your own season. And this is what, this is the point of self-mastery that we have got to come to. We've got to come out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. I am the Lord your God. I am. Thought, thinking, mind, consciousness, awareness. I am the Lord your God. Which have brought you out of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. From under Pharaoh. Pharaoh representing materiality. The bondage of materiality in Egypt. I brought you out of that. I've given you the truth and the truth has, has made you free. You know the truth. You know that I am God. And beside me there is none else. You can't lose your job because now you know the truth about what your job really is. I've got a job that nobody can fire me from. Come on. I've got a job that nobody can lay me off of. 
the father's business. The business of tilling my land. Cultivating my mind. And this is what I get paid for. And you see, that's what you have to understand also, what you get paid for. You think that check you get is your pay? No. Uh -uh. That's just a little tip for the rent and the car note and the insurance and to buy some bubble gum. If you want to really know how and what you get paid for, you get that cassette by Reverend Ike about your power of employment and the law of compensation. Ultimately, you get paid for what you think and how you think. You get paid for your thinking. He that tills his land shall have what? Plenty of bread. Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, now standeth in the way of sinners, now sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. That's his job. He knows that. He doesn't, medi he doesn't meditate on, on uh, how many people General Motors laid off. But in God's law does he meditate day and night. And he shall. You see, he lives, he lives on God's shalls. And he, and he shall. You people had better get on some shalls around here. Get on God's shall. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. Get your mind on the Lord. Get your mind in the law. Get your mind thinking according to the law of God, the law of good. That's your job. That's your business. That's what you get paid for. When you do that, then the law will always put you in the right place in the world to get your compensation. I know I've been changed. I know I've been changed. I know I've been changed. The angels in the heaven have changed my